Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chris Brecher with the Chart Patterns Mastery. June 6, 2023, free video. What's today about? Today is about rotation. That's what we expected anyway, and that's what you got. What do we mean by that? Well, you've had the NASDAQ going bonkers. As you see up here, going bonkers. What next? Well, what would go up? Well, the laggards. So everybody thought that this was some kind of head and shoulders on the downside. But when you get the NASDAQ have that kind of massive rally, usually what happens is the NASDAQ settles down and everything else starts to catch up. Also, the perception, economy all already acting stronger. Everybody's saying, oh, I guess we're not going to have a depression, at least for now that the perception change. What does that mean? Well, you got the Russell rallying, which includes the regional banks. So regional banks not imploding. Yep, so they're going up. They're a big proportion of the Russell. And what else are you getting? Commodities. We've been buying DBA all the way down. Yep, look at that. Looks like a big old bull flag down. Look at a weekly. If that goes to here, easily 22. But that's another symbol of of economic strength, having the agricultural start to go up. That means that next, it's probably going to be the agricultural stocks like the CFs that we could look to buy. I haven't bought it yet, but that's definitely something that's going to be on my radar screen. So tomorrow, what we're going to look at is the continuation of the Russell. You see the bear flag, uh, bull flag on the right. You're going to look for the continuation of the Russell, at least for now. And then you're going to look at this, which is ex getting extremely interesting. Here's the NASDAQ on a daily chart. An indecision candle that has that kind of wick on both sides is an is a indecision candle called a doji. It's not the doji that matters. It's the follow through. Now, I know you had some like this. But they're not really dojis. These are like double dojis right here. And the key is how they follow through. So if you see the NASDAQ on the right, get down under this, under that triangle. Then it could go all the way to here, which would go on the thing of the Russell outperforming the NASDAQ. Just a rotation out of the NASDAQ into the Russell stocks. So you see that. You also have some other ones. Meta massive, massive rally. And now that has a doji. Let's see how it follows through. So there are a number of them that have that kind of pattern. And we have to see how they follow through the next couple of days. Now, in the meantime, while this is happening, as you see that Russell massive rally, this could definitely go up to here. And usually when you start to get the Russell going up, you start to get the speculation going. First, you had them in the AIs of the world. Then you had them in the NVIDIAs of the world. Then you have them in the Broadcoms of the world. They're starting to come back down to earth. What's next? Probably the other stocks that are meme stocks. So go and look at Hertz. And I'll show you. We actually did a list of these today. We did this scan. We just took a scan of TTM squeeze. Just the squeeze. Not that I think a squeeze is just something to buy or sell. We look for consolidation patterns. So when we did that, these stocks popped up on the left. We took stocks between 6 and 50 on the bottom left that have halfway decent option volume. And all we did is then scroll through them to see which ones look the best on daily and four hour charts. And you'll see some of them look a lot more like bull flags than other ones. There's one. There's two. There's three. Yeah, plug power. Isn't that amazing? These things definitely have that kind of pattern to them of these bull flag things. If you want to pause your video, just go put this list up there for you. Doesn't mean I'm going to buy every one, but I'm definitely looking at these bullish patterns more likely to work now that the Russell is starting to turn up. And that's the way I'm going to try to play them. There's a number of them. Drug stock, 
Hurts. I mean, look at these. Nice, nice moves. And they haven't moved that much yet. Some of them have. Some of them might just be beginning like uh, QTWO. So definitely the second tier stocks are what I'm going to look for to buy tomorrow. And if I sell anything, it's going to be the big NASDAQ stocks. Have a great night. Talk to you later. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chris Brecher, and I'm Senior Managing Director of Stocks at Sippler Trading. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like our content, please leave us a like and a comment down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification icon so you never miss any of our great new content coming out. Good trading, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care.